Hey guys, I'm John. Today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Baffled Oil Catch Can for the 2013 Plus Ford Focus ST. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive Focus ST content. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include two and a half millimeter Allen key, T30 Torx bit, seven, 10, and 13 millimeter deep sockets, quarter drive six inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, two 14 millimeter wrenches, an 11 16 inch wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and a torque wrench. Install time is about two hours, and install difficulty is a four out of five. Using a 13 millimeter socket, Remove the ground strap near the driver's side rear firewall. It is strongly suggested that you wrap the ground strap with electrical tape just because you are disconnecting many sensors. The Ford manual also suggests this as well. Remove the plastic engine cover from the top of your engine. There are four points where you need to pull up in order to remove the cover. Disconnect the two electrical connectors on the upper harness going over the intake manifold. Fish the harnesses out from where you remove them and set aside. The lower harness goes under the vacuum line and set aside from the intake manifold. Unclip the three clips that connect the vacuum line to the intake manifold. Using a flathead screwdriver, we are going to remove the vacuum line. Gently press on the green locking tab and bend towards the front of your Focus ST while pulling gently back on the line. Once this is loose, slowly feed the line up and out of your Focus ST. Using a 7mm socket, loosen the upper worm gear clamp for the intercooler pipe connecting to the intake manifold. Using a 10mm deep socket, we are going to remove the 5 bolts that are holding the intake manifold onto the cylinder head. We started from the driver's side and made our way to the passenger side. Remove the sound generator tube from the intake manifold before you remove the intake manifold. Carefully reach around the intake manifold as it is lying in your engine and locate the PCV valve connection tube that connects to the intake manifold. Squeeze the connection gently and the tube will disconnect from the manifold. As you are removing the intake manifold, wiggle the manifold so the intercooler pipe will slide off. At the same time while you are removing your intake manifold, remove the two electrical connections. They may unseat while you are moving everything around. Lift the manifold up a little further until you see the throttle body. Locate the red tab on the electrical connection and push the red tab back a quarter of an inch and disconnect the drive-by-wire throttle body. At this point, your intake manifold is ready to be removed. Locate the green tube that comes out of the baffling that is on the block for the PCV. Take a flathead screwdriver and wedge it in between the plastic black hose and the green fitting and twist a little bit. The green piece is very fragile and cannot be replaced on its own, so be very careful. Also, be very careful around all electrical connectors. You may want to remove the orange clip that attaches a wire harness to the green fitting. The last thing you want to do is scratch a fuel injector wire. Remove the black fitting once you remove the hose. All you need to do is grasp and pull away. Now take the Mishimoto hose with the 180 degree bend and orient the piece you just removed onto that hose and have a worm gear clamp attached as well. Tighten it with a flathead screwdriver. Take the second Mishimoto hose with the two vent ends and install a worm gear clamp on it using a flathead screwdriver. Install one of the ends onto the green fitting. Have a worm gear clamp already attached while you are wiggling the hose onto the green fitting. Tighten using a flathead screwdriver. Make sure the green fitting, once attached, is facing parallel with the engine block, facing towards the passenger side. At this time, if you did remove the orange little fitting, you can reattach it and clip it back onto the green fitting. Take the other end of the hose and route it over top of the starter and behind the engine harness, leading towards the transmission on the driver's side of your Focus ST. Now, Take the first hose with the fitting and route the end without the fitting next to the previous hose you just routed, and route that back along the transmission on the driver's side. Reinstall the intake manifold onto your Focus ST. At the same time, take the quick disconnect fitting and plug it into the intake manifold. Plug in the harness for the throttle body. Be sure to push the red tab back into place so everything is locked. The safety clip is very important. 
Reconnect the two electrical connections into the back of the intake manifold. Now, we can line the intercooler pipe back up with the intake manifold. This may take a moment and will require some wiggling. Once it is lined up, use a 7mm socket to tighten the upper worm gear clamp that connects the intercooler upper pipe to the intake manifold. Reattach the 5 10mm bolts that connect the cylinder head to the intake manifold. This is very important. Make sure you torque the 5 bolts to 20 newton meters, starting with the center bolt and heading towards both ends. Reattach the sound generator to the intake manifold. Reinstall the vacuum line that goes to the intake manifold. To reconnect the vacuum line, you can prep the quick disconnect fitting by having it locked already. So when you attach it, you only have to push down until it clicks. Now, we can see all three of the clips that hold the vacuum line in place on the intake manifold. Now, take the first electrical harness you removed and fish it under the vacuum line and towards the front of the intake manifold. The one clip goes near the intake runners, and the second one goes near the green connector underneath the intake manifold. Reinstall the engine cover by pressing down on the four tabs. Unwrap the electrical tape from the main ground harness and reattach it to the 13mm connector bolt on the driver's side firewall. Be careful when attaching this bolt, as they commonly strip. Lift your Focus ST up on a lift or with a jack and seat it safely on jack stands. Remove the six pop clips under the front bumper using a flathead screwdriver. Now, remove the lower air diverter. There are three T30 torques holding it in place. Now, remove the eight T30 Torx holding the plastic under panel in place. Now, remove the final plastic under panel. There are four T30 Torx holding this panel in place. Now, we can prep the catch can. Using an 11 16 inch wrench, Thread the two fittings onto the catch can. These fittings are under boost, so make sure you tighten them very well. Using the two Mishimoto provided M4 bolts and washers, connect the bracket to the catch can. Tighten down the bolts and washers with a 2.5mm Allen key. Now let's go back underneath your Focus ST. Start with a straight fitting and slide a worm gear clamp onto it. The straight fitting is the one that goes to the intake manifold and goes to the out of the catch can. Using a flathead screwdriver, tighten down the worm gear clamp on the catch can once you attach the straight fitting. Now, take the second hose with the bend and slide a worm gear clamp onto it. This is the hose that attaches to the green fitting and connects to the in on the catch can. Using a flathead screwdriver, tighten down the worm gear clamp on the catch can once you attach the hose with the bend in it. Now, Take the Mishimoto provided bolt and washer. Slide the bolt onto one side of the bracket and a washer on the other so it flushes up perfectly to the hole on the transmission. Tighten everything down with two 14mm wrenches. Make sure everything is fully tight. Then, reinstall the under tray panel using the four T30 Torx and six pot clips you removed earlier.
Then, reinstall the second under panel using the 8 T30 Torx you removed earlier. Finally, reinstall the lower air diverter using the 3 T30 Torx you removed earlier. Now that you've installed your Mishimoto Direct Fit Baffled Oil Catch Can, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and take your Focus ST for a test drive. We recommend checking the contents of the can every thousand miles until the baseline is established. Oil accumulation will vary depending on ambient temperature and driving conditions. To make it even easier to service your can, check out the Mishimoto Petcock Drain Kit. Also, don't forget to click subscribe.